All right, now that we've done the data vault modeling, um, let's go ahead and, and build it out so we can actually look at um, the output of it. So again, I'm gonna go back into the more studio, my trial project that is pointing to the same location as where my Bimbleflex project is, the trial project. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the refresh metadata button, which looks at the database and pulls in all of that metadata from my so that, that we've just been modeling here. And as you can see here now, what I've got coming in here is I've got my hubs, my links, and my satellites coming in here, and it should look like this, you know, a bag of keys, details, password, um, and then the rest of it there. So this is a very simple data vault model. We're not gonna go into details here. What we will have here is we'll have a, a batch file here that's gonna load my data vault. Um, remember, we're doing ELT-based um, data vault in this exercise here. If we were to change it to an SSI space here, we would have all the data vault SSI packages. But effectively, this batch file is just an orchestration batch that will call all of the data vault stored procedures in the right order, in the right sequence, and those stored procedures will do all the work. So what again, what I'm gonna do here is, and this is the manual step, we will go into, as not in the walkthrough, but um, the continuous integration stuff is all documented. I'm just gonna go ahead here and then say to create table script, which is gonna give me a script that does all the tables. I'll copy that out, and I'm gonna drop that into uh, Management Studio for us. Let me just bring this across here into Management Studio and just run it again. There's a drop and create table script, so be aware of that. But for the walkthrough, let's just go ahead and click the run button here. Great. So now we have all of our tables created, and um, we also need a couple more things for Data Vault. The next couple of things we need for Data Vault is also we have. Uh, Data Vault uh, Procedure Script by Source. These are the stored procedures that we need to load the Data Vault. So if I click that, I get all of the stored procedure and all the code that I need to load my Data Vault. I'll jump over into Management Studio here. And this does um, look like a couple of manual clicks here, but don't worry about it. As I said, we will take care of this in the continuous integration. So none of this, what I'm, all of these copying of scripts is all catered for in our continuous integration and deployment part of things. Head back over to Bimble Studio. Lastly, I'm gonna go and grab the um, default insert script. So these default insert scripts here effectively um, creates a, a empty record or a first record um, inside of your hubs, your links, your satellites. This is when we have, um, especially for our um, business data vault, when you were creating point in time tables and bridge tables to eliminate any left joints, we put in a ghost record or a dummy record. So again, let's just drop that in there. Um, again, this, this whole process here is, is uh, a lot better documented as a separate subject there. Um, but again, I'll just drop this in inside of um, um, Visual Studio here, uh, sorry, Management Studio here, and let's build that out. Um, and last but not least, uh, we're not gonna do this right now, but I'll just show it to you here. When we do get into our business data vault stuff, there is another one down at the bottom here called Business Vault Stored Procedures. So that's all we needed to do there. And now we can go and just hit the build button here. So this is gonna build the output. It's gonna build all the size packages again, and it's gonna build the package that built that will call all the stored procedures. All right, the build is completed. And all we'll do now is we'll go into Visual Studio and just open those files up there, for, uh, open the solution up, and we can go and uh, build it out. Okay, so when you've built it out, um, in your trial project, wherever you've put that location, so this is where mine is, there'll be an output folder. And inside of the output folder, there's a whole bunch of files here. On, um, but the ones that we're looking for is the source one and then the data vault one. So the source one here will load sources staging, but the data vault one is what we're looking for at the moment. And the data vault one, as I said, we've got ELT based stored procedures. If we open that up, all right, so once you've opened up the Visual Studio project, you'll see one single batch here for the data vault. And you open that up and you'll see all of the packages here. And all of these are just basically SQL Server statements that calls the stored procedures. You can see here that I've got two in a row. And the reason for that is on the batches, I've only defined two threads in the batches. Let me just show you what where that is. So if I'm going to the batches here, for this data vault project, I've made this two. If I make this four, it'll be four in a row, six, six in a row, as you can see that that's that's how you can control the threading of the data vault process. So that concludes uh, the data vault modeling side of things. We've only done a very lightweight model here. 
um, the more complex matter subjects are covered in uh, our, our more advanced uh, that evolved um, training material.